Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to make a denim cargo skirt. If that is what you want to learn how to make, just the exact way it is on the screen. Then keep watching this video to the very end and let's head straight to the tutorial. You'll be needing, we are starting from the scratch, okay? So I'm just going to be ruling a guideline on top of my pattern paper. Do not worry, I'll bring it down soon and you will see what we're doing. Now I'm going to be placing my waistline on my half length, which is 16. And from there, I marked 24, which is my hip. And then, of course, my knee length. And then the hem of the skirt or wherever you want your skirt to stop. I went ahead to mark it right. This is a man clothing YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe, like this video and share it to other platforms where they will be needed. Phew. So I used my ruler to square a line across like so. So the next thing now is you're going to be imputing your waist measurement. I am not going to be adding a lot to this skirt. So I'm checking my waist measurement alone. No additional measurement for that. Then for the hip, I went ahead to mark in my hip measurement also. Now for the knee, I minus one inch from my hip measurement. Same thing I'm going to be doing to the hemline. done that now i'll go ahead and use my ruler and connect all the points together from the waistline you want to be very sure that you're mining to the dot that you've marked from the waistline to the hip from the hip to the knee and then from the knee to the hem wherever it is your skirt is going to stop now for a very close fit around the waist or for your waistband to be very fitted, you want to deduct one inch from your actual waistline. Let's say your waistline is 30, you want to do one inch and use 29. So it snatches your waist, band snatches your waist. Now for the pocket, I marked five inches downwards. Five inches downwards, as you can see. Do not worry, I'll bring it down and you're doing very clearly. I marked five inches downwards, okay, and I came in by three inches. And then I'm connecting the points with dotted lines like so. Then I'm going to be marking one inch outward like this. And from my hip line, I'm going to mark in two inches downwards. I'm going to use my ruler to connect all those points together. So this is the pocket. Okay, you know that kind of pocket in a denim skirt or trouser? This is the pocket, right? And now I'm going to be tracing the whole of this pocket out. I'm done tracing it out and this is what it looks like. The next thing we are going to do is to cut this very part out. If you place this underneath, you're going to be having something like this, where you can put your hands, but then you need a bag for your pocket so your things don't fall off. And that brings us to tracing this very pattern out. I'm going to have to trace it out and this is what it looks like. So I just want to show you guys what this whole thing is going to look like. You want to put this like so, and then put this underneath. Now I'm going to be removing my waistband. I'm using 1.5 inches. I'm going to be deducting it from this pattern. I'm also going to be deducting it from every pattern that I trace. You want to deduct it from every pattern you traced. From here and from all the patterns you traced, okay? So that is going to be your waistband. Then I'm going ahead to cut it out. Do what to label, center front, whatever you need to label so you can remember. And then we'll set it aside. Now I'm going to be marking um, the zipper fly. I'm using 7 inches. And I'm going inwards by 1 inch. I'm just doing this to keep me in track. Okay. I went ahead to use my ruler to connect it and I shaped it like so. Then for the back of my skirt, I'm going to be working directly on the fabric because there's nothing to trace. It's just the basic, okay? So I have to work directly on my fabric. I firstly drew out a guideline. 
and I placed my back waist measurement or half length, sorry, my back half length like so. I had to start marking the vertical measurements, right? Vertical, yes. So I marked my hip, my knee, and of course the hem for the back. And having done that, I'm just going to be making this line straight. You want to use a ruler if you cannot eyeball it. If you're not sure of your eyeballing skills, you want to use a ruler so you can have a straight line. We need to be marking this out straight like so now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to impute my measurements. Now for every measurement for the back, I'm adding half an inch. Half an inch is so I have that top stitch at the back. If you watched closely the intro of this video, you'll find that the back has a kind of a top stitch at the back. So the half an inch is going to serve as that top stitch design that you only see on denim. So I added half an inch for all the measurements at the back. Some sort of like a zipper allowance kind of, okay? So having done that now, I'm also going to be removing the 1.5 inches for my back waistline. Now, while cutting this, you want to cut it as 2 inches. So by the time you stitch, you have 1.5. Okay. Now, I'm cutting that one half inch open, which is at the center back. And then we'll go ahead to cut out um, the back skirt. So this is what my back skirt looks like, okay? This is what my back skirt looks like. And this is the waistband for it. Now I'm going on to cut my back, my front skirt pattern. Sorry, I'm going to cut the front on the pattern. What am I saying? I'm going to be cutting my front skirt using the pattern, please. Now heading over to the sewing, we're going to be just doing the sewing right now. This is your front piece, one side of the front piece. You want to sew this onto this like so. You want to sew it. Now I'm using this part of it so that by the time I turn it over, it's going to be wrong side facing wrong side, something like that. Okay, so you want to sew this first. And now you guys, I'm done sewing it. You want to pay attention to details. Can you see those lines, those double marks? After doing that, you want to place this now. Like I always emphasize, you want to mark notches. I've gone ahead to mark notches. You want to place them on the notches that you marked. Then for here, you're going to be stitching on the waistline first, all the way around like so, like so, and also like so, just to form the pocket, literally, right? So you're going to be sewing that up right now. And after sewing, this is what it looks like. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to work on the zipper fly. Let me just show you guys. Can you see the pockets? Can you see that? Very neat and well laid. I actually use a lining. I, I use the lining. This denim fabric is so light. So I had to use a lining to line it up. So this is what it looks like. Now, that's very zipper fly stuff that I cut out from the main skirt front pattern. I folded the fabric into two. I'm going to be placing this like so. Then I'm going to have to cut it out. So this one. Then we're going to also place it like so to cut on that one. Just literally to get the length. We just need something like a, a rectangular shape. I'm just placing it to get the length. Then I'm going to be trimming off some parts. To get it perfect. Not really a perfect but close to a perfect rectangle and this is what we have you're supposed to cut this on fold but if you don't have enough fabric to cut on fold there's no problem you can just stitch up one side of it and these are what we have so you're going to be stitching this now like so so you can turn it up to the right side 
So on one side of your skirt, I think the left or the right, I, I don't really know, either the left or the right, you first attach your zipper to the rectangular piece and you're going to be attaching it to this very side of your skirt like so. You're going to be sewing it up to this very part of the skirt like so. Now you're going to be getting the other side. Please try to figure out whether it's left or right. I didn't really get that, please. You're going to be putting the zipper fly inwards like so and you're going to be stitching this together like so so having done that now you're going to be taking the zipper fly piece or the part of the skirt that has the zipper fly you want to put it at the edge of the zipper at the very edge of the zipper and you stitch it down in a way that by the time you turn it open it's going to be like this then of course following the amount or following the zipper fly pattern you want to fold it over and then give that curved stitch you guys so at the end of it this is what it looks like this is what we are having right now this is what the front of our denim skirt is looking like So I'm just going to be placing the back on top of this and I'll stitch it. Please do not mind that design. They actually threw it away because it was making the skirt look so busy. So we're going to be shaping the front and the back together on the sides. So having done that, we'll set it aside and we're going to work on the cargo pockets now. For the cargo pockets, you want to rule a line first. And from this line, you want to determine the width of your pocket i'm using six inches right six inches for the width of my pocket then you also want to determine the height of your pocket just you want to form is it a square or a rectangle i don't know you guys you want to form a rectangle yeah so the height of my pocket is um seven inches abby or six inches you just want to form either a square abby, just square you want to form a square you want to form a square, okay? So you're going to be putting it together. Like so. Then I'm going upwards now to mark one inch on top only. You're marking one inch on top alone. Like so. And I'm using my ruler to connect all the dotted points I marked. Remember, it's within the frame of the square we have initially. Now on this side, on this side of the square, I'm adding two inches. On this side of the actual pocket, I'm adding 2 inches. And on this side also, I'm adding 2 inches. This is very simple. Please just watch carefully. And on the lower part of it, I'm also adding 2 inches. With my ruler, I'm going to be connecting all the 2 inches together. So at this point, this is what you should be having. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to mark half an inch at the top, like so, out to, outside the main pocket frame. Can you see where the half an inch is lying? It's outside the main pocket frame. Half an inch, please. So having done that now, those two inches, we're going to be dividing them into two, meaning we're going to be marking one inch one inch on both sides and also below one inch just to divide those two inches into two trust me this is not a long process it's going to give you the best cargo pockets fitting you ever imagine so be patient with the process so at this point now this is what we have after i've divided it half one inch you want to go up by one inch okay also i added the one inch i divided the lower one by one inch right you guys you understand i divided the lower part of it by one inch you also want to come in by one inch here too you're coming in by one inch you're also going to be going up by one inch on the other side you want to connect these two points together these two points together that is the one inch to the one inch the one inch inwards to the one inch inwards. 
I hope you get it right. So just look closely, you should have something that looks like this. And after doing this, you're going to be connecting this back to this point. And you should be having something that looks like this right now. So the next thing is to add half an inch all the way around aside the top you want to add half an inch all the way around aside the top i actually had some issues doing this but be careful with it you're going to get it right just keep adding half an inch all the way around aside the top part of the pocket so i went ahead to start adding half an inch all the way around you want to take your time and do this okay take your time and do this and you're going to get it right add it half an inch all the way around and i arrived at this so we're going to be cutting this on our denim fabric i'm going to have to cut it out on the denim fabric and you guys this is what it looks like on the fabric so to sew it up this is what you're going to do you're going to fold into two and then you sew up like so I'm going to have to sew it up, so we're going to be attaching it to the skirt and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. So here is my denim skirt. I have another tutorial where you want to see how to attach waistband and all that. So leave a comment in the comment section if you want to really see how to do that. Now you're going to take your measurement. I measured from here I think about 11 inches. It's not a standard, this is optional but it works for me, it has worked for me or it fits. So I think you should do so. We are going to be placing this somewhere around here to know where this ends. The first one ends. You know it's two cargo pockets on each side. So I think this is where the first one ends. Or well, I'm placing it this way. Right. Then I'm going to be giving about 2.5 inches gap between the first and the second one. So let's say you place this here. And then the next one is starting from here to this point. So you want to mark how long your cargo pocket is. And then you divide it into two following your side seam on your skirts, right? So everything comes out equal and nice. So everything comes out equal and nice, okay? So I'm going to have to do that right now. And then... We just place this. We just place this. And then we'll head over to the sewing machine to attach the cargo pocket on both sides. And after that, you guys, this was what we arrived with. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.